This video will demonstrate how to break down your LT-150 for transportation. This video assumes that you'll be transporting your LT-150 in your vehicle. Do not use these instructions if you're shipping your machine using a shipping company such as UPS or FedEx. The tools you will need to break down your machine are a 3 32nd short arm wrench, a 3 16 short arm wrench, in your long T-handle 5 30 seconds wrench. The first step is to remove the heel springs. To do this, use your 3 30 second short arm wrench and loosen the set screw that holds the heel springs in place. We recommend taping the heel springs to the top shelf. The next step is to remove the yarn mast assembly. Using a 3 16 short arm wrench, Loosen the screws that assemble the yarn mast assembly to the LT-150 upright column. If your machine has thumb screws instead of socket head cap screws, please contact LAM and we will provide these screws. With these screws removed, the entire yarn mast assembly lifts straight up. Rest the yarn mast assembly on a bench and insert the hardware into the long shafts. The following is optional disassembly of your yarn mast. If you're more comfortable transporting your yarn mast completely disassembled, please follow these instructions. Remove the tall shafts as shown here. Notice that these yarn masts swing freely now that those tall shafts have been removed. Carefully turn the yarn mast assembly over and remove all button head screws. Continue removing the remaining button head screws. If you prefer to further break down your yarn mast assemblies, remove the posts as shown here. Be sure to pack all parts with your machine. We recommend carefully wrapping each yarn mast in newspaper. The next step is to remove the ribber cone assembly. Viewing the rear of the machine, swivel your ribber cone over the center of the cylinder. Allow the ribber cone to slowly drop, but rest the key on top of the collar. Using your long handle T-wrench, loosen the screws that hold the ribber assembly onto the upright column. Remove these screws while using your other hand to support the weight of the ribber cone assembly. With the screws removed, the entire assembly will lift straight up off the top of the upright column. For transit, you could either insert these screws back into the upright column or you could place them in the large can. Carefully place the ribber cone assembly on a secure bench. The next step is to remove the cylinder. That's the absolute best way to transport your machine, even if you're only transporting it for a short distance in your car. Before removing the cylinder, be sure to remove all latch guards from the camshell. With your cylinder in rotation, begin removing needles above the cylinder, raising enough needles so that the needle butts will be above the swing cam. Turn the hand crank until the raised needles are above the swing cam. Using the tangs as handles on the cylinder, lift the cylinder straight up out of the machine and place it carefully on the shelf. We recommend packing the cylinder in its own small box. Lower all the needles and place the cylinder carefully on its side. Wrap the cylinder in foam or newspaper. Carefully place the cylinder in a small box. The next step is to remove all yarn guides. Using the 3 30 seconds short arm wrench, remove the winged yarn guide, mostly because this is a movable part and we want to protect it. Place the winged yarn guide assembly with the hardware on the yarn shelf. Also remove the tall yarn guides this is to protect the porcelain eyelets in transit. These eyelets could crack or come loose in shipment. 
If you do not have tall yarn guides with the porcelain eyelet, please contact LAM and we will provide them to you with your upgrade. Place the yarn guides that have been removed from the camshell into individual plastic bags. Place all these components in the large can. Prepare to attach the plastic packing ring. Push up on the cylinder key plungers. Try not to push them up all the way. Set the stitch adjustment value to 10. The packing ring was designed specifically to protect the cylinder key plungers. The cylinder key plungers are small in diameter and may bend or break under the weight of the heavy cast iron frame. This radius lines up with a large acorn nut underneath the machine frame. Viewing underneath the machine, these are the cylinder key plungers that the packing ring protects. Viewing the plastic packing ring, you'll notice that there are various cutouts around the flange of the ring. Use the large radius cutout to locate the position of the packing ring. The radius lines up with the large acorn nut underneath the machine frame. With this radius aligned with the large acorn nut, insert the packing ring from underneath the machine. Please be advised that it is a tight fit, but once in, it should snap into place. Notice that the cylinder pins are protected by the plastic ring. The next step is to remove the hand crank assembly. Using the long handle 532nd T wrench, remove the four screws as shown here. Support the hand crank assembly with your other hand as you remove the last two screws. Hand crank assembly lifts out as a complete unit. Place this assembly on a secure bench. Pack the ribber and the hand crank assembly in the same box. If you don't have your original box that the machine came in, that's all right, as long as you use a box that's strong and sturdy. It's also a good idea to put crumpled up newspaper on the bottom of the box to protect the ribber cone. Using more crumpled up paper, cover the ribber cone assembly. In this empty space right here, that's where we're going to place the hand crank assembly. Place the hand crank assembly with the gear facing down and the handle pointing upward. Protect the wooden handle as best you can. Add more crumpled up newspaper to secure the parts and keep them from moving around during transit. The next step is to remove the yarn tray. Remove the yarn tray by removing these two thumb screws. You could either reattach the thumb screws to the stand or be sure to place them with the loose hardware. The next step is to remove the cast iron frame with the camshell assembly. These are the only two screws that we need to remove to disassemble the frame from the machine stand. Please be advised that this assembly weighs about 20 to 30 pounds. If this weight is beyond your limit, please ask for help or assistance. Place a sturdy box large enough next to the machine stand to hold the cast iron frame. If you do not require assistance, place your foot on the front crossbar of the machine stand. This will help support part of the weight once these screws are removed. Using your long T-handle 532nd wrench, loosen and remove the stainless steel flathead screws. When done, place the wrench on the stand. Notice the front half of the machine frame is resting on my knee while the rear part of the machine frame is resting on the stand. Place the loose hardware on the stand as well. With one hand on the upright column and the other hand underneath the frame, lift directly up and off the stand. Place the cast iron frame and camshell assembly in its own box. Place all the loose parts from the yarn mast assembly in the box with the cast iron frame and camshell. 
This will include the posts and the yarn masts. Place the stainless steel flathead screws in the large can that's holding the yarn guides and other loose hardware. Here is a review of all loose parts and hardware to be sure to bring along. Two low head screws for your river cone assembly, two thumb screws for your yarn tray, two long stainless steel flathead screws which assemble the machine frame to the stand, four flathead screws for assembling the hand crank assembly to the cast iron machine frame, and lastly 10 stainless steel button head screws. You will only have these loose screws if you chose to take apart your upper yarn mast assembly. Place all your loose hardware in the large can. Also be sure to include the set of Allen wrenches, the winged yarn guide assembly with mounting hardware, both tall yarn guides, and all latch guards. To protect the powder coated paint on your weights, we recommend wrapping them in either bubble wrap or newspaper. Place the weights, the cans with spare hardware, tools, and the cylinder all in its own box. Other parts to be sure to bring are your strap, the takedown hanger, the takedown storage device, and V-hooks. When you're ready to pack up and hit the road, you should have three boxes and your machine stand along with your yarn tray and upper shelf. Safe travels with your LT-150.